Hi, welcome to Arch Labs Yoda. We have released Arch Labs Yoda or Arch Labs 4.1 on the 4th of June of 2017. And this is going to be a review. What can you expect if you're already an Arch Labs user and you have 4.0? What has changed? And if you're new, let's go over all the elements that are important and what makes Arch Labs so much fun. Okay, maybe first we should look have a look at our system as it is. I've changed, of course, already some elements. As you can see, we have four desktops up here. And I'm recording with simple screen record. Clip it is there. There is now in 4.1 a uh, Bluetooth uh, support out of the box, so it will work. There is also a program which is called Temps, which is going to tell you the weather in the system it's in our arch repos it's um, installed and in, in onto the iso only thing you have to do is activate it if you want it in the auto start so the sound that's normal dropbox is installed extra it's not on the iso and the variety is uh, the same as uh, was already in 4.0 so it provides our wallpapers and we can change our wallpapers Instinct is uh, installed extra, it's not on the ISO, it's a cool drive synchronization. This is on the on the system, meaning this is Redshift. You'll see uh, when ha what happens at night, your screen gets a little bit uh, reddish. Uh, better for your eyes, so I have been told. And then the PAMAC updater, the, this is uh, was already in 4.0 and um, is still included and our network manager at the time we've made a lot of conkeys um, we went from 4.0 to 4.1 and i don't know how many but you check it out there are some i don't know five six conkeys extra there's also a lua conkey and so you can uh, check that out but of course you have to download the lua support so you have to go to packer conkey lua and then you find uh, what uh, application will work on your hardware. That being said, um, we've covered everything we've seen. This is also a conkey. Don't be misled. This is not a uh, text on a wallpaper. So I can change this text any way I want. So that's another new conkey we've created. And here we have these uh, icons from Sardi. And I do see that uh, it does not jump up and I do like it when it does do that like so some animation so that's that um, then let's go over what um, has changed well the 4.0 was uh, had a boot time of 1.45 so we've increased that to 15 second, seconds in 15 seconds the ISO should boot boots over here anyway depends on your hardware of course when we run the pseudo programs, we had a, a, an issue first time around and the second time around, everything worked fine with sudo or GK sudo. That's fixed as well. Installation time went down from seven minutes to two minutes, 45 seconds. So around three minutes, your installation of Arch Labs is done. What I do then is uh, I install Dropbox, I install InSync, and then I'll do all the rest. Everything comes down from the cloud so I can always reformat and change again 4.1.1 4.1.2 and so on then we have added wallpapers we have also 4k wallpapers if you like and there is also one from Duncan Pringle which is who is a quite active uh, creator of wallpapers we have a github from him as well um we are now a rolling release that's a quite important issue so as of 4.1 when you press ctrl alt t oh yeah i have not um my screen key is not on let's see if i can do that for you guys screen key and then the screen key preferences i want to show this and this is too long like so so again ctrl alt t if we do this, then um, we have all the information you can see here as well. But um, 
I wanted to show you that we are rolling. This is, as of now, our 11 packages, as you can see. We start, we end at 10, but we start at 0. So we have 11 packages, but uh, surely there will be more. So these elements will change in the future. So the wallpapers, if we make add a wallpaper, we just up this number, 133, and then you'll get an uh, update in. So as of now, we are really rolling release, meaning you should not install or reinstall, but, but, there is a but, there is always the personalized uh, programs which are residing in your .config folder, those will always be coming from the ISO, so we cannot write on your home folder, that's normal, I suppose, common sense. Anyway, so this is why I can only recommend you to install 4.1.0 because of the rolling release, because of the use of packages in the AUR, Arch User Repository. What we have as well now is a welcome screen and um, we can activate it by Arch Labs. It's the only program we have, Arch Labs, hello. So that's this little program and of course updates will come, but we still have work to do in regarding the donating stuff and, and all that. So, but it's there, you can read about it and um, surely you'll get updates in the future. So that's Arch Labs. Hello. That's the screen you see when you boot up. And what else have we done? We have new Slimlock teams. Uh, what's a Slimlock team? If you press a super L, it locks your system. I'm not going to do that since I'm now making a tutorial here. But um, you can always install them yourself. So, no, not sudo, but packer. So if you don't know the name, but you say, it's, it was Arch Labs anyway, I'm sure of that. And then you type Slim, for instance, and then you get just one. So this is the one you need, and you install it, and then when you no, when you press um, when, uh, super L you'll see that you have the possibility to change the lock screen so we have different elements different uh, wallpapers I will add more in the future that's what the rolling release is about if we add more you'll get them okay um, that's what we've done there are lots of little stuff, like I told you, the fun in, in uh, or the, the, the spirit of um, Arch Labs is often in these folders here. Like for instance, the, the calculator. And we have the calculator, I think it's one here, calculator. Yeah. The way it looks is um, defined in, in configuration files. So in that regard, some of these elements like um, genie it has a dark theme and all that so elements like that uh, it's over here on the other screen elements like that are actually kept in your personal folder so when you burn iso i'll give you those settings as well but if you do rolling release we never can write in here okay so many configuration files have been uploaded and have been uh, burned on the ISO. There's also a new uh, shortcut I uh, wanted to install on the 4.0, but there were issues, so I decided not to. At this point in time, it works. So Control Alt Backspace, which I'm not going to do because it's going to restart my X server, um, is there. So the a shortcut we tend to go to automatically if you do some distro hopping then it's a keyboard shortcut that's widely known okay so um, bluetooth support i've told you that um there's a more printer support there's no more network support oh yeah ob menu has been replaced with another one so ob menu is going to be oh here it was that's this one 
We've opted now to go for OB menu 3 and see how that goes, how you th feel about it. So this is a way to edit the menu. Personally, I can only recommend you to use the text like so and just copy paste whatever you want because it starts from item till item and so on. You can change your terminal name or this, this is the label you see on the menu and this is the command so terminator can be another one which is also installed on the ISO. Okay, that been said, OB menu 3. Touchpad support has been uh, added for uh, laptops and that's our next roadmap uh, achievement to figure out how we can um, support more function keys and so on for laptops. Uh, we have had we have a lot of new um, programs. There is a list on the website. I'm going to show you a few of them. Like, for instance, this one. This is called Rofi. And Rofi is another menu. So we have a different kind of menus to start any program. You do have to know the name of the program. And then enter, and you're done. We have Windows Shift D for D menu. We have Alt F3, which is our application finder, and you have a menu like you're used to. Yeah. Um, anyone, anything else? So for a normal menu, we can have the menu as well when pressing super spacebar. Um, right mouse click here on the tint. Anything else? I think we've covered all the menus. What else? In Inksteam, yeah, I have to make some publicity for it. If we want to help you, and we do want to help you, you have to provide us information. Like for instance, this one, and like so. If you provide us some information about hardware, that's sometimes, sometimes useful to put ourselves in your mindset, in your hardware, in your computer. So INC uh, minus F is interesting. And if you want to have another one um, that's also included now. Yep, that's the name. Oops, sorry. Let's take this one. Voila, art info. It's the same thing like INC, but a little bit more graphical. And I've included that as well. So you can show us this one and give us a screenshot. Regarding helping, there's another tool we have to tell you. There's also the program Peak. Like so. Let's move it to the other screen. This is Peak. You can record anything. Let's do it a little bit like this. Hop, stop. And then it's rendering whatever you do. And then you say to us, we have a problem. Um, and then you show us. As you can see, it works just fine and it's a lot, a lot easier than talking in, in, in another language and technical terms you don't know and stuff like that. So here you have a tool peak to make a little movie, little animated GIF for us, us guys to understand what's going on on your system. We've included Vivaldi. I can only make some uh, well, recommendations there. It's a very fast browser. So if we inst if we start it like this. Why I want to sh I want my D menu to pop up on my first one. Thank you. Like so, and we've uh, installed the latest one, the snapshot, so the, the well, cutting edge. So try it out, Vivaldi. It's quite interesting and very fast. Okay, let let you read all the rest uh, of the tutor of the um, extra software online. Um, what else? There is also a very interesting little tool we have added and we go to our config folder to the open box of the scripts and we have added this one. Get the latest Arch Labs Conkey collection from the GitHub. So this one. If we make a new Conkey, all you have to do is run this one and then you have the latest Conkeys which you can select. Of course, you know via preferences, Conkey, Conkey chooser, and here you can see 
that we have created some more our skeleton for instance let's use this one and that's that okay um what else what else slim lock things have been told calamares is our installer which works fine out of the box in three minutes time you have um, seven screens you have a complete new system and I guess that uh, leaves us uh, with the changes so these are all the changes if you're new to Arch Labs what should you know what should you figure out what's important for you to know we just were actually at the most important place and it was in here in the open box so in your dot config open box this is important that you check out this is your menu this is your um, shortcuts keys and maybe also a good thing now to change in this tutorial already from menu so this is our menu now but um, our menu now does not include all the software as that we have we can of course get here and have all the software we have with alt f3 this is everything that's installed on the system i do see I have to make for peak and uh, a sati icon so that's coming soon an update will follow and what else well um, let's do this one so the menu if you want to have an, a menu that's generated meaning it's going to scan your system and see what's on there and these elements here will change if you want to have those you can quickly change it doesn't take long doesn't make the tutorial that long much longer it's as quickly as can be like so Control shift backspace one of the shortcuts you should know and here you have a new menu which is our menu generated from the system and as you see we have here an overview of all the stuff that's on the system this might be also a menu you'd like you can create menus with icons and so on that is going to lead us too far away so that's our menu or the most important uh, folder and the scripts and the logos for you to use and then it comes down to how nice can you make arch labs how beautiful can you make it and everything is concentrated here and in the open box we have the GUI configuration tool you should check out we have um, nope we have the con keys you can choose and edit we have the tint to gui which is this one up here let's change just for the fun of it let's change to this one like so if you like it if you hate it just change and then whatever look you like you keep it and that's tint too so into GUI Alex appearance so how what color you want to have we have lots of arc themes that have been created personally or, or for just for Arch Labs and icon themes a lot of icon themes you can install and use so the customize XFCE appearance because of Tunar and Tunar is our file manager so if you want to have other icons we can do so and work with these ones like so um what else light dm experience appearance and slim appearance I'll let you discover all of these elements choose a wallpaper notifications we've added pulse audio preferences because well frankly we do need some time to um, set up our headphones and all that so that's in here we have it also in windows a super f which is the same uh, V sorry um, but okay we have now a menu which I think will be useful we have also this one as a new one XFC settings manager is new because of uh, elements we can we can change there are all some things like the panel we cannot change the panels we don't have an XFCE panel we have a tin 2 panel so this will not work but many of these things will just work out of the box right anything else to the menu that we've added these are st stayed normal the same printing was there and all the rest I think this one is a new one 
as well, slim appearance, but everything is set the way it should be, but you check it out if you want to change it. And uh, the menu has changed, has, has not changed anymore. So it's up to you to change all these appearances. Don't forget to go inside here in this one and um, and the GUI and then you have covered all of the elements. The one thing I do tend to do and I'll do it right now so you see it. Appearance is make the menu a little bit bigger depending on your eyesight. You have now a bigger menu. It's whatever you want. So amaze us Use Arch Labs, be creative, make beautiful desktops, share it with us on the community, on Facebook, on G+, anywhere you want, and enjoy. Enjoy Arch Labs.